I'm screaming, help me, I was assaulted, I need 911. The amount of blood that was coming out of me and the amount of pain that I was in, I knew that I was gonna die. My relationship with my ex was very toxic and we never really lasted more than a couple months at a time. There were a couple red flags. He would lock himself in the bathroom and go through my phone and then come out screaming and want to fight. We would be play fighting and sometimes like he would pull my hair or hit me a little too hard. There was also times where I would wake up to him having sex with me. We had broken up a couple days before I was trying to cut all ties. I was being kind of rude and mean, like just trying to get him to realize I don't want to be with you. I was playing video games and watching movies, just enjoying my alone time. My ex he tried to call me and I didn't answer it. Then he texted me and started cussing at me. I was just like, I don't want you anymore. Please leave me alone. It gets dark. I just got this like really weird feeling like somebody was watching me. I let the dog out and I closed the door. As soon as I turned around, he jumped out and he put me in a chokehold from behind. He was like trying to disguise his voice, but I instantly could tell it was him. So I said his name, I told him, let me go. He's squeezing harder. I start panicking, I'm pulling on his arm. We ended up on the couch and I peed myself because I was so scared. He was on top of me, choking me. That's when the rape happened and I blacked out. I woke up naked with my wrist slashed. I look for my phone to call 911 and it is completely dead. So I get outside and I start screaming, trying to get somebody to help me. I hobbled back inside. The amount of blood and the amount of pain that I was in, I had like this feeling that I was gonna die. Next thing I know, I'm being woke up by police officers and paramedics. We got in the ambulance and that's the last thing I remember. And I woke up in the hospital, hooked up to all these machines and these wires and I flatlined twice. I was 60 seconds away from being completely brain dead. I was on life support. Both of my lungs were collapsed. The doctor told my mom I was looking at a 30% chance of surviving. I spent like two and a half weeks in total between the three hospitals. When I got home from the hospital, the police had came and talked to me. I told them who I believed it was. They had talked to him and then did not see any reason to do anything further. It really pissed me off and made me feel very unsafe in my own city. I have such bad PTSD. When it gets dark, I will not go outside by myself. Some night I'll wake up screaming. A part of me died that day and I have not been the same person since. I started posting about my experience. If my story can help even just one person, that's all I want. I am seen. Are you?